my next shop my stash the goal is to do these about every two to three weeks it just depends on how much use i get out of the makeup that i have pulled i got pretty good use out of anything that i pulled in my last shop my stash so a lot of things are going to be going back and i'm going to be pulling in a bunch of new products i don't want to talk too much in this intro so i'm going to go ahead and jump right on in all right so i think today i'm going to start with the palettes first last time i started with the products over here but yeah, this time I think I'm going to go ahead and start with the palettes. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull everything that I know I'm putting back. So we can go ahead and put those away. I'm going to put the Nomad palette back. The La Vie Dune Prince. There's a couple over here that I might be decluttering later. One of the reasons for my shop, my stash, and putting, you know, pulling palettes and stuff is to play with products that I have kept since my last declutter to see if I still love those products and if I still want to keep them. One never knows. We're going to put these back. I'm also going to put back the Norns palette from Udenzai and my Tiny Marvels palette. So a lot of this stuff is going to go back. And I'm going to go ahead and pull these two. This is the Wilderness palette and the Your Golden palette from ColourPop. So all of these we're going to put back. I'm going to keep this one. This is the new one from Nomad, the Mancha Verde palette. I definitely want to do some more looks with this palette. I had to run over to my dresser and grab this one. This is the new one from Tarte, the Man Eater palette. I just filmed with this one and I do want to play with it some more. This is what the color story is looking like. It's just so pretty. So I definitely want to use this some more. So this is going to be in our shop, my stash for this time. Let's take this over here with the Nomad palette. All right, so I'm going to put these away and then pull some more palettes. All right, so I'm going to put the Nomad palette in here, and I already have an idea of which palettes I want to pull out. I'm going to pull out the Opulence palette from Beauty Bay, so this one right here, which is a really pretty jewel told purple and blue so we're gonna go ahead and pull this one out this is gonna be beautiful for like those kind of halloween fall looks i'm looking forward to playing some more this one so we're gonna pull this one the norns palette back in here is there anything in here that i was pulling you know um i'm gonna wait to my next shot my stash to pull this one i did order the new hollow bean x rod palette which is uh, betty jean's second collaboration with the brand once that palette comes, I'm going to pull this one to use with that one, but I'm going to hold off for now. I don't think there's anything else in here that I'm wanting. Oops. Almost forgot to put the Wilderness palette back. I'm going to put that in here. Um, let me put the Golden one back first. And I know I want to pull out my kombucha palette i just did my top palettes for fall this is one of the ones that i talked about so i'm definitely going to pull out some of those palettes so we're going to pull this one do i want to pull this one this is that one from beach cosmetics i think i'm going to hold off on this one i'm going to pull out my spice alive so that with the two up there that will be five palettes and I know that I have a couple on the top over there that I'm wanting to use. So I think that's everything in here that I'm wanting to pull out. Let's see. Um, yeah, the rest of them are going to be on the shelves that are on the wall. Put these back. These go up on the wall. Stick these up here for now. Put this one here. And then the tiny marbles. I'm going to put that here. I know that I'm going to pull, I want to pull out my Cartagena palette. This is from Nomad. It's really, it says these really beautiful orange tones. I think it's going to be perfect for this time of year. Put that over there. And then one more. I want to pull my Mandalorian palette. Just right here. This one has these beautiful, it says a mustard yellow in it and then some Really pretty cool tones. Hold on while I get that open. This is what this one is looking like. This is going to be beautiful. So I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to playing with this one some more. So that should be all of my palettes. With this one also, there are some like really pretty orangey blushes in here. And then kind of a brick red blush as well. So looking forward to playing with those. I, know, I might pull 
one more palette. Age of Opulence, Spice of Life. And I'm just going to sit this one up here. Um, no, I think that's plenty. I think we're good on that. I think I have another palette coming. I can't remember. I've ordered so much stuff lately that I can't remember what's coming in, but I think I do have another palette coming. I did order the House Labs Foundation and Powder, so looking forward to that one getting here. But I think that's going to be it for the palette, so let's move on to over here. I have my basket. What I'm going to do is pull everything on this side that I know I'm putting back in here. You guys remember this side right here is my project empty, so everything over here I'm going to be keeping. Still working through those, so those are going to stay over here, but we are going to pull the stuff over here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then we'll start pulling some more products. Something that I did add this time that wasn't in here before is this little basket right here. I decided to add a basket over here for blushes, highlighters, and bronzers. Because even though the drawers are just right there, it is easier if I already have something pulled over here that I can just, you know, pull to use. So that way I am getting more uses out of them and then deciding if it's something that I want to keep. Currently, right now, I had my pink rose. This is from Makeup Obsession. I'm pretty sure this is going to be <laughs> decluttered. I mean, these pans are tiny and the formula is very just meh not very impressed but let's put this back we're gonna put back this highlighter that i had in here this is from essence this is the make beauty fun highlighter once again a very meh product i am enjoying this one from natasha Denona. this is the cupid cheek duo this one is very very glowy and luminescent so if you love a very glowy luminescent blush this one is for you I'm enjoying it, but more as kind of like a blush topper or a highlighter. It's just a little bit too glowy for me. And then these two are from BR Beauty. And the last thing that I had over here is this liquid highlighter from Malibu Glitz. So we're going to put all of these back and then pull something new. We'll put the Charlotte Tilbury back, the Ocalon powder. Um, I think I'm going to keep the Milani... What is this? The under eye brightener. I'm going to keep that in here. I'm going to keep the brown liner, the eyebrow pencil, and then this one from NYX. I'm going to put this one back. This is the one from Mally or Tristique. My biggest issue with this, and I use like the black cream gel liners for my upper waterline, and this one does transfer down, so I'm not sure about this one. But we're going to put that one back, and then this one from Bella Forever. I'm going to pull another liner. I'm going to keep these here. I'm going to go ahead and put both of these back and pull some more mascaras. And put all of the lipsticks back that I had pulled. I had this one from Jason Wu. This one from Buxom, which I'm enjoying. This one, however, this one is from Milani. This is one of those, I think it's the matte fetishes. The more that I use this, the more I realize I don't really like it. I think it's just the shade more than so the formula. It just looks very, makes me look very dead. I'm not too fond of this one. So this one is more than likely going to be a declutter in my next, you know, declutter series. Um, these two are Project Pan, so we're keeping that up there. This Becca one, hold on. So in the under eye correctors, you can see I've almost emptied this one. I do have one of these in backup. So we're just going to keep this one out until I finish it. Have a lip mask. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and put this Wayne Goss one back. The Touch and Soul primer back. And I think that's it. So we're going to put all this away. And then we are going to work on pulling some more stuff out. I'm going to go ahead and put this one in my palette drawer since it is a blush and a highlighter together. So we'll just put that in here. This is also a palette. So let's put these away and then pick out a new foundation. This one was newer to my collection and I really did enjoy using it. So I'm going to put that back there on some lights you guys can see all right so i do have my project empties but i like to pull a foundation specifically that i like to use on camera for filming and i think um 
think I'm going to pull this one. This is the Screen Queen from Milani. This is one of my favorites. The shade is in deep tan. So we're going to pull this one for our foundation. Put that in the basket. Let's pull out a concealer. Did I pull? Actually, you know, I forgot. This is the one that I have pulled out for this round. This is the Wet n Wild Incognito. So let's pull that back. And I think, do I want this one? You know what I do? I'm going to pull this one from LA Colors. This is the Ultimate Cover Concealer. The shade is in golden. This is one of my favorite formulas. This formula is stunning. All right, so let's pull a powder. I pulled out my one from Kiko Milano, the finishing powder. I'm currently using that one as my project pan as a touch of powder. So let's go on ahead and see what we can pull for our this rotation. That one. Just recently used that one. Um, do I want to use this one? This is the Maritake Rice Powder. This one is actually looks like a giant tablet. As you can see, you just kind of rub your, br your uh, sponge or your brush over the top of it. Um, I don't think I'm going to use that one. Photofocus Cab. Actually, you know what? I just got this one recently in a boxy charm, so I think I'm going to pull this one from my shop, my stash, see what, what I think about it. All right, so powder, concealer, we need a primer. I do have the Laura Geller and then the NYX Marshmallow one that I'm currently emptying. Let's see. I think I'm going to pull this one. This is also from my recent shop, My Stash. It's the Coconut Skin Smooth Primey Moisturizer. Um, I think this is supposed to help with pore minimizing. I don't know, but we're going to give this one a try. All right, so let's go ahead and pull a couple of blushes to put over here. Do I want a palette? I haven't pulled out a palette in a while. I did have these. Do I want to pull out another palette? Let's see. Hmm. I think I want to pull out the one from Wayne Goss, the Vivid Azalea. I've not used this one in a while. I do have some palettes that I think this would go with. Like I think this would be really pretty with that Age of Opulence. So I'm going to pull this one that in there. We'll like organize all this stuff after I finish pulling. And then I have some new blushes from Shop Missé that I definitely want to try. Do I want to put all of these? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pull all of these. I know that's a lot of blush, but there you go. And I think that pretty much covers like any tone that I will use because I also have the ones that are in that kombucha palette. So I think that's going to be it for blush. I do have the highlighters that I'm currently working on in my project pan. Let's see. House Labs. Do I want to pull any of these? I think I'm going to pull this one. This is the e.l.f. Jelly Highlighter. I need to get some more use out of these, so I'm going to pull this one. Alright, so now we're going to do mascaras and liners. I do have the ones that I'm currently working on emptying as far as mascaras. Is there anything here? I'm going to pull this one. This is the item. This one is from, I think it's Addison Ray's brand. So I'm going to pull this one. And then liner. I've recently used this one. What is this one? I'm going to pull this one. This is from Luna Liner. I think I got this out of a boxy charm a while ago. It was over in the shelf in my backup, so it has not been used yet. So we're going to pull this one and give this one a try. And I think that's it. I already have my brow pencil that I'm working on emptying that I'm going to use. So yeah, we're going to pull this one. And I think that is it. I don't think I'm missing anything else. So I'm going to go ahead and start arranging these and putting everything over here. I just remembered I didn't pull a bronzer, so let's do that real quick. Um, I want to pull this one. This is from LYS. I just recently got this out of the Boxy Mega Pop-Up Shop. I'm going to give this one a try. I'm not sure if it's going to be too light for me or not, so this would be a good time for me to test this one out. So we're going to put that one in this rotation. Sorry, 
All right, so that's good. I actually still need to pull my lip color, so let's go on ahead and do that. I'm going to pull a couple of orangey tones. Um, where's one from Luna Beauty? So this one from Luna Beauty, Hollow's Eve. I'm going to pull that one. And then I think I want to pull one from Kika Milano because that one is a little more on the warm side. So we're going to pull this one from Kika Milano. This shade is in Rosetto. This is one of the Lost in Amalfi Long Lasting Lip Colors. So we're going to put that there. I need something more pink. Over here I have this one that I'm still working on emptying from CoverGirl. That one's red, so I don't need a red tone. I do want something pink, and I think I know which one I want. I'm going to use the one from CoverGirl. This one right here. This is one of the 24-hour. This is one of the 24-hour matte lipsticks. This one is so pretty on the lips, and it's not like super drying, but it, it's very long-wearing. I really like this one. So we'll put that there. All right, so orangey, red, pink. I want something kind of soft and neutrally. I don't think there's anything over here that I'm wanting to pull. Anything over here. I did a big declutter, so this thing is like practically empty now. Do I want to pull? Um, I'm going to pull one of these. So this actually went quicker than my last shot, my stash. So still working on my Extreme Outlast from CoverGirl. Got some mascaras. The Juvia's Place. I am more than half empty on this. So we're making some progress on that. Finally, almost done with this Fat Lash Primer that has taken me forever to finish. I don't think I'm ever going to get through this primer. Probably sometime in the next month, I'm probably going to end up just decluttering this and tossing it because still really don't like it. So this is what everything is now looking like now that I have organized it. All of my project empties over here. Oh my god, and things are toppling over. Let me fix that right quick. I added that little mini Tarte Maneater mascara over here, and I also added... That little mini Tarte Double Duty Hydrating Primer. So that's in here as well. And then over here, I think I added the lipstick. I added these two from, I'm not going to pull them out, but these two right here from ColourPop, part of that Clay at Cool collection. I added those in there. And I think that's it. So everything here is looking really nice. I'm excited about that. Over here, I did add some more blushes. I grabbed all of those little cream ones from AOA Studio that I recently purchased because I realized I haven't used these. So I grabbed those and then I just put the Mandalorian palette over here because it didn't fit in like over here with all the rest of the palettes that I pulled. I do have a lot of blush over here, but they're just like different tones and stuff. And then what I'll do is anything that I don't use during this rotation on my shop, my stash, I'll just keep those in here. And the ones that I did use, I will put those away. So yeah, I am really liking how we are looking right now. I'm excited to try out some more of these products and see if there's anything that, you know, I'm going to want to pull or declutter in my next collection and declutter series coming in December. But if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel and you're not already subscribed, I would love it if you would consider hitting subscribe and join my little family. Make sure you tap the notification bell so you can notify of any videos coming up in the future. Yes, my nails are different. I'm actually <laughs> filming this last part on a different day because I kind of reorganized and added some more stuff in. Be safe, take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.